Hi dear doers, and nice to see you again. Now that we understand the most straightforward manufacturing flow, it's time for us to start organizing and automating some processes. For each product manufactured, materials are necessary. Keeping all of them in mind or looking at a list before each operation would be inefficient and time consuming. That's why Stealthy Wood uses what are called bills of materials, aka bombs. We also use routings. Bombs are a complete list of all of the items that are required to build a product, and routings are are the records of the production operations or stages workers must follow to produce the product. By doing so, we can keep track of the time spent on each manufacturing operation and know what the next step is. We can also import instructions and plans related to the job, reducing the possibility of making mistakes. After everything is done, we can look at the details of everything that we did. And with an easy to use and intuitive interface, everything can be set up in just minutes. So cool, let's check it out. All right, so here I am on my database. I'm gonna first jump to manufacturing and we're gonna go straight to the bombs menu. So products, bills of materials, and you're already gonna see that uh, some are existing, but I need to create one for my large meeting table. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on create. And then of course, add the product large meeting table. And I have a root set on this product as two manufacturers. So be sure you do that, it's very important. All right, so here I can add the quantity that I would like to produce with this bill of material. And then I also have the reference on the right. And this is going to be linked to the bill of material itself, uh, but my product is gonna keep its own reference inside of inventory. All right, I have my bomb type as manufacture this product. And of course, the part that interests us the most will be our components. So here under this tab, I can list all of the materials that are needed to manufacture this product. So let's go ahead and list some items. So I'm going to have my office chair, 12 office chairs. Yes, they come with this product. Um, and then we're gonna need some bolts, of course. So let's add 24 bolts. Likewise, we're gonna add um, 24 screws. Then I'm gonna need some table legs six table legs. Then let's add our um, ply layer and our wear layer as well. All right, so these are all of the components that it will take in order to produce one large meeting table. Um, but of course, we're not gonna ask our employees to manufacture the product on the floor without further instruction. At least we don't do that at Stealthy Wood. So let's go ahead and add some operations to this bomb. So I'm gonna jump on over to the operations tab. And from here, I can list all of the operations for my employees when manufacturing this product, as well as the work center to use and and the expected duration as well. So let's go ahead and add a line. So for the operation, I'm gonna say assembly. And then we're gonna add our work center as well, which will be assembly line one. And then on the right, I have my duration computation, which I can do based on track time. So for example, based on the last 10 work orders, or I can set that duration manually, which is what I'm gonna do. So I expect it to take 60 minutes. All right, I'm also going to upload a worksheet as well. So I'm gonna upload a PDF file. These will be the instructions for my employees. And then we're gonna save this. All right, so now that I have created the operation um, and added a file with assembly instructions and a work center, we're gonna go ahead and check out the steps, which are also known as quality checks. So I'm gonna first save what I have already done, and then I'll go back to the edit mode and then we can add some steps. Now these are key moments in the manufacturing process where I can ask my employees to perform specific actions. So in this case, I'm gonna click on create, of course. Um, it's vital for us to measure the length of the table legs in order to avoid that they are too short because we don't want our customers to have sore knees. So I'm gonna go ahead and title this um, step, table legs length. All right, then we can add the operation type, which we're manufacturing, of course. Then we're gonna have our control type on the right. So this is where we determine if this will be done on all operations, randomly or periodically. And in this case, I'm gonna say on all operations. And then we have some different types as well. So by default, you're gonna see that it's pass or fail. I also have take a picture, print a label, and so on. Um, but we're gonna choose measure because we're gonna measure the length of the legs, of course. And I want the length of the legs to be um, 70 
centimeters. Well, in fact, this is the norm. So since I'm choosing measurement, this is going to be the uh, measurement that we expect, but we do have a tolerance. So I'm gonna say that it's okay between 65 and 75 centimeters. All right, then we're gonna have our team as well, which in this case will be our main quality team. And then I can also add a responsible and specify if on the worksheet we want it to scroll to a specific page or not. All right, then below we can add some instructions and we can also add a message in case of a failure as well, which will help my employees know how to react in case of a problem. So uh, let's first add the instructions. So I'm going to say um, measure the uh, length of the table legs. And then for message of failure, I'm gonna say, please refer to the responsible for the table legs. So in this case, we of course will need to add a responsible, which is going to be Mitchell Admin. And then we're gonna go ahead and save. And when we jump back to the steps, we will be able to see all of the steps that have been created um, for this bomb. And I will add some later on. And if we do want to um, see all of our steps, we can also go to configuration operations, which is not what I'm gonna do now because to save us time, we're gonna go ahead and see how this bomb works when creating a manufacturing order. So let's go to operations. Manufacturing orders, click on create, and we're gonna add our product, the large meeting table, and the bill of materials automatically going to be applied with all of the components that are a part of that bill of material as well. And then we can go ahead, save this, confirm. We're gonna check the availability of the products, and I'm gonna plan this. Let's jump to our work order, which is ready to go. And I'm actually gonna check this out from the tablet view. So I'm gonna click on that little tablet icon. And as we see here, my first step is to enter the measurements of the table legs. And once that is done, the manufacturing process will move forward with the usual things, such as selecting serial numbers for components and so on. But let's start here. All right, so I'm gonna say I measured the legs um, and I measured 60 centimeters. Then we're gonna click on validate. And of course, I'm gonna get a warning because the quality check has failed. So I either need to refer to the responsible of the table leg or to the responsible for the table legs. Um, I can confirm this measurement or I can correct the measurement, which is what I'll do in this case. So I'm actually gonna say um, it was just a mistake. First measurement was a typo. And then we're gonna go ahead and validate. All right, then the next step, I will have to choose a lot number for the consumption for the table legs. Then we can go ahead and validate. All right, and then we have the choice to mark this as done or mark it as done and close the manufacturing order from here. But I'm just gonna mark it as done and then we're gonna jump back to the manufacturing order. All right, we're gonna perform our quality check that we have here. Okay. And then we're gonna mark this as done. Okay, so now that the product has been manufactured, did you know that Odoo actually offers the possibility to have a report on the bomb performance and cost? And everything is accessible from the bomb form. So we're gonna go back to products, bills and materials. We're gonna go to our bomb uh, for the large meeting table. And then we can check out the routing performance. All right, and since we only use this bomb once, we don't actually have a lot of data on this report, but just know that it's there for you. And then we can also check out uh, the structure and costs. And here we can see how much our bomb costs, but also the structure. And in another video, we're gonna see how useful this can be, but for now we can already see the price we pay to manufacture this bomb, including the price for the operations as well, which is super useful. So let's go back to our bomb. Whoops, I went a bit too far. And how easy was that to create? And when using the Odoo PLM app, you also have access to the ECO feature. And this is going to be seen in detail in a future video. So stay tuned. Thank you for watching. And if I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night.